Hey everybody, welcome back to another Fable 3 episode. So, uh, last time where we left off, we were going to fight Captain Saker. So what I did is, I changed my character's look a little bit, because I had enough time, and I decided to change the colors. And I do have the proper gear for going up against Captain Saker. No, you're gonna die like a dweller, and I'm gonna lead the mercenaries here. So you will bow before me, peasant. Okay, I really shouldn't call him a peasant because he he's way more muscular, a little bit more stronger, and a bit more dangerous. Because he has fire, dangerous knuckles, and all that stuff. So yeah, once I win... If I do, I will lead the mercenaries, and you will not. I mean, if it ever gives me that option. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna have to face these guys now. Oh, oh, I'm still reloading. I don't like this, no! What would happen if I use a slow time potion right now? Ow, fire, 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 stop, drop, and roll, stop, drop, and roll. Dodge and weave. Just gotta keep repeating those two things inside my head. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Just gotta repeat that in my head so I do not die. Ah! <sighs> okay, fine, we can play a fire, two can play at this game, or... Five, actually. Four mercenaries plus one... How'd you know? Five mercenaries plus one prince equals six people. <sighs> I feel like this is where they do most of their uh, training when they become mercenaries. Just, they have a gigantic arena. They, they hold tryouts here. Hey, you! Random guy, you want to sign up for mercenaries? Well, here's the thing, you gotta beat everybody in the mercenary camp in this arena, and then you will sign up. Not only that, but you will also be rewarded to join us. I bet that's how they do their uh, initiations. They just put random people into this arena, and then they just, just have them face the toughest people, and then the... Initiate people just get killed. That's just my guess. I don't know. I may be wrong. And you're wrong. Oh! Oh! That is... Did you Did you just seriously... Just... You guys saw that, right? Oh, now... Now I'm gonna resort to... Yeah, let's see what this does. Will this do anything? This is for hitting my dog. I saw that. And that was brutal. Okay, well that did something, but not really. Oh! Trick shot. Get out of my way. Ah, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Dodge! I really don't want to die here. He has Fire, ready, the end thrown. I don't want to get punched, so I'm gonna keep my distance and play it safe. Oh my goodness! Oh, I got him! I did it, guys! But we have our codes, like any other soldiers. We'll leave the dwellers be, no matter what you do. That is a warrior's promise. Okay, so, if I kill him, 
the mercenaries won't do anything. They'll just be, yay, you killed our leader, now you run our little camp. But if I spare him, he'll be a good help towards the revolution. So you know what? I'm not a mean jerk. I'm not one of those jerks that kill people. I'm gonna spare his life. I want him to help me in this revolution. Get it together, man. Thank you. I won't forget this. Let that stranger go! Okay. So the end of a new chapter. Wait. Oh, there we go. Alright, I beat Captain Saker! Yay! You have taken another step on the road to rule. Sparing Saker has won over the support of his followers. Word is already spreading of your compassion and your strength. Alright, so that's... I made a good choice, actually. This is great. I haven't made a bad choice. Except for, like, at the beginning of the game. But still, I actually didn't make a bad choice. So, just because of that, he's gonna help me in this revolution against Logan. That's great. Alright, so, I'm gonna need to keep that in mind. If there's, like, any events like that, or any people I can help out, they're going to probably help me in the revolution. So, um, yeah. What I'm going to do here, you guys, is I'm going to skip ahead. Because, again, I don't want to bore you by opening up all these chests. So, I'm just going to skip right ahead into the action for you guys. So. Jasper, would you shut up already, please? All right. That you have completed two of the tasks that Sabine set for you. If you return to Bright, you will find Sir Walter has some news on how to fulfill the last. Are you done yet, Jasper? Thank you. All right, what, what is this thing here? Okay. I, I bet this is a secret. Right, I, I wish I knew how to get in there. The locked door. Ugh. Let's see, is there an Oh, there's a chest in here. Oh, oh, um. There's no mercenary cap. Uh, is there an option to break this down? I don't know, um, is, is there an option? No, what if I do that and. Oh! Oh, that's bad. Okay, so that's a crime I committed. Oh, okay, that's not good. I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't know, okay? I was just in it for the chest. That's all. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause a crime. But now I know. So whatever I do in the future, I am not supposed to, to break down doors with anything. Gotcha. Sir Walter is still... I know where Sir Walter is now. Uh, Jasper, you said earlier he was like in some kind of tavern, okay? Thank ya. Okay. Fast traveled to Brightwall again. Hello. We were just talking about you. Indeed. We have made a toast to your stupendous feat in ridding this peak of Saker and his men. They have been a source of great distress for some time. Nobody will be more pleased than Sabine. His dwellers might find some peace now. Of course, nobody has suffered more than they. I've been telling Samuel here about the terrible situation they're in. He thinks he may be able to help. Yes, well, uh, perhaps, uh, I mean, of course. The thing is, as I was just explaining to Sir Walter, Brightwall has no overabundance of resources itself. The king's levies are rather steep and we face shortages more often than is comfortable. But, but were you to improve things around Brightwall, the people would be most grateful. And when people are grateful, they're also charitable. I'm sure they would find it in their hearts to send aid to those poor people. There you have it. The way I see it. You will need all the followers 
you can get if you're going to lead a successful rebellion. What better time to start? I heartily agree with Sir Walter. Pardon me for overhearing that. Oh my god, would you shut up, Jasper? I'm gonna have to come to the sanctuary and knock some sense into you. Ah, now, the book says there is an additional rather amazing capability about the sanctuary's map table that can help you find people who are in need of a hero. <sighs> okay, so. Tell me what I have to do, old man. Do I just interact with the map on the table? Okay. An excellent way to gain followers is by helping villagers in need. Take a closer look at Brightful. You can now see the villagers in need. You can also see how many followers you must amass to impress Samuel and the people of Brightwall. Select a villager to help. By doing so, you will gain the respect and loyalty of others in the region. Well, that's actually good advice. And not the annoying, own, my own personal self, Jasper advice. That was actual helpful against revolution advice. Thank you, Jasper. Okay, so there is a part of Jasper that isn't annoying after all. That's good. Oh, this is terrible. Summer. Round up chickens. Yes! Chickens! I love chickens. I'll need what? It's a giant chicken suit! I officially love this game. I got a chicken suit. <laughs> I look so freaking silly just walking around this entire town. Even though I just started walking around. I have an entire chicken suit on me. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm dressed as a chicken. Now, I... I, I think I have to find these chi Oh, floor chickens. Okay, I, I just have to do that. Okay. Okay, so lead chickens into the stables again. All right, but um, before I do, I, I actually want to see if I can lure more than just one group. I'm sorry, you guys. My curiosity is sidetracking me a lot. I should do it right now, but I want to see if I can actually multitask with the chickens here, you know? And these chickens will obey me, because I am the king chicken. And if they don't obey the king chicken, they're going to run into some serious chicken poo here. And I don't care what you guys say. I love the chicken suit! One of the best things in Fable 3 ever! So, you know what? I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna lure these chickens, and I'll tell you what I really want to tell you. Oh, they have a little ditty. I like it. Is that it? Oh, that was a lot quicker than I imagined. Wow. I thought it would take me a little bit more than just that. Uh oh. Save chickens or kill chickens? Of course save the chickens! I want to kill that man who wants to kill the chickens. I mean, why would you kill the chickens? That's basically the same thing as killing your own animal, your own pet. Why? Why? Why would you even do that? No. Save the chickens. Saving the chickens is a good cause, people. How else will we have scramble eggs and all that other cool stuff related to chickens? So you know what? I am going to end this episode right here. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I was going to tell you earlier. So you know what? That's what I'm going to end it as. So next time, when we come back, we're going to see if more people in Brightwall needs our help. So you know what? I'll see you in the next episode.